the first and foremost thing would be just I'd say that I just really lost my passion for the game, you know, and I think you know that. I, I talked to you a lot about kind of where I was at and mm -hmm. stuff, and, and, and this was months ago, you know, um, so it's not something that's, like, brand new, but I'm, I'm not the kind of person that's going to just, like, put it out there, like, to the public, be like, oh, I'm th this sucks, I'm unhappy, you know, mm -hmm. it, and no one really wants to listen either, I'm a lineman. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure if like a quarterback said it, you know, you sure. know Dr. Phil like the next day, but, but, you know, so, uh, it got to the point where I just really was getting worn out and then I left Seattle and, uh, it was a new place and I was like, you know what, this is not, I'm, I'm not enjoying, I'm not happy. I'm not enjoying playing football and I really want to try something new just for me. And, uh, that's where I was at and, and the money and all that stuff, it just, it really stopped mattering uh, as far as that. Cause it, I wasn't happy regardless. I was never happy when I had money, I just, I didn't even care about stuff. Nothing really meant as much because everything was easier to get, you know? I feel like you enjoy stuff a little bit more when it's, like, a little bit more difficult, you know? Or, like, you know, you can't always get everything you want. I think mm -hmm. that's what makes life so enjoyable, you know, that, that kind of both sides of the coin. So... That's so, it was, so it was personal. It wasn't culture, yeah. tired of the league, tired of the way... That, too. I mean, oh, there I was, was some of that I in mean, there, it was too? all of it. It was a ton of... I mean, it was a whole gamut of things the f but the first thing was really that i i lost my passion i wasn't happy i was not happy at all and i just i was like how long are you gonna not be happy for you're gonna play for four more years in the league and just be miserable and uh you know i'm in my 20s and like i'm 27 jim morrison was 27 janice joplin was 27 it's time to do some stuff kurt cobain you know? jimmy kurt hendrix cobain, jimmy hendrix it's you know it's a it was a, a very important time for me and i i wanted <laughs> you didn't want to die they, they took die. a different route <laughs> yes you know, yeah, yeah, they're right? and they're dead <laughs> exactly, and I'm here. So it's it's, but I just I did not have the passion. I wasn't willing to risk anything anymore for money, and uh, that was, was it. Was that surprising to you, or was that? Do you think this has always kind of been bubbling back there? Did you ever feel this way before? Or did it all of a sudden uh, crash this year? But uh, this year, this year it was yeah. kind of bubbling and then up and then up. But you know, how long are you going to give yourself where you're discontent? Like, right, right. You know, like a year. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. How, how long oh, were you? Yeah. It was about a year. I mean, maybe about a year, maybe, maybe seven, eight, nine months or so. Okay. But it's like, uh, you know, that's to me, that's a long time. A year is a long time to be unhappy. Sure. You know? And I know I'd be unhappy for the rest of the season. So. Now, now I heard this answer before, but I think it was a good question yesterday. And that is, do you, do you think it, it, that, it would have been any different had you never been traded. Had you still been in Seattle's locker room and you're sitting with a team right now that's uh, the best in the NFC and you're looking at Super Bowl and all that, do you think you're, you would have made the decision at the same time, perhaps waited to the end of the season? What would have happened, do you think? I would say that the, everything that happened to me was probably part of the decision. You know what I mean? And I would say that I could easily say that if things went differently, maybe I would still be playing football right now. I'm not, you know, it's, it's, I'm very open to that. But, uh, you know, like, like, let's say, you know, if I was starting right now for the Seahawks, right, mm -hmm. might still be playing football, honestly. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't the case. And I was where I was. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to change things. I blame Cleveland. They screw up everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, look. <laughs> I know. That was a weird If you had gone to Cleveland, there. you might have hey, gone immediately. Can I? I'm glad you brought up Cleveland because I haven't said this publicly. They, they suck. Cleveland sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> They are so terrible, and the way that they did me in that front office was so dirty. You know, they failed me on a on a on a BS physical mm -hmm. where they were basically like they took me in, they they MRI me, they ran me through a gamut, they flew me out there that night, okay, and uh, I saw the MRIs with the doctor. I went through all the slides with the doctor because I knew I'm like I want to see this right. So he goes to me, he's like, you have a little bit of arthritis, but yeah, for the knee injury, he's like, yeah, you're fine, you're fine. So then they call my agent. And they're like, they want you to take less money. They want you to do a split or something like that. And I'm like, no, no, I'm on a basic contract. I don't, I'm not doing a split. And then my agent, you know, finally did some work and figured out that per the CBA, you can't do that on okay. a trade. Yeah. So now they just call me up to my office and they said, we're going to fail you on your physical. I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay. And okay. then you're sitting in the airport. That's when I talked to you. You were sitting yeah. in the airport yeah. after that. I went in with the GM though, talked to him. And they tried to tell me, they tried to get the, the head, uh, the head uh, trainer to tell me that my knee wasn't right. And they said that the slides were in there basically trying to lie to me. And I was like, that's great. Thanks. You guys really set me up here because you failed me on a physical. The whole league's going to know. Yeah. But so. the, the knee would have been just fine. Had you agreed to adjust your contract? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, right. right? Yeah. 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 Been. My knee hurts because it was too much money. That's why. <laughs> that's, a, yeah. that's what they wanted to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Will you still be a football fan? Are yeah. you a football fan? Oh yeah. Will you watch football? Yes. I watched the Seahawks this Sunday. It was awesome. I, I will. I will always be a football fan. I love football. I just, I don't want to play it.
you know? Right. So. <laughs> well, I understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I, I do love it. I do love it. 